Hello, thanks for joining us for Latch Live Extra. I'm Harriet, I'm a peer supporter with Charmer Bras, and with me is Isabel, who's an international board certified lactation consultant. We just wanted to talk to you quickly about mastitis, the dreaded beast of breastfeeding. So, first of all, we're going to let you know what mastitis is. So, Isabel, tell us about mastitis. So, mastitis literally means inflammation of the breast and usually comes around about by um, milk stasis. There are other things that can cause mastitis, sometimes crack nipples and, mm. and bacteria backtrack. Um, and but milk stasis is, is uh, milk not being removed from stuck, the, static. static. Yeah, milk not being removed from the breast, mm. and the breast becomes inflamed, engorged, and potentially get an infection in there. Mm. It's really unpleasant. Mm. Um, it it. I wouldn't say it's common, but I think a lot of breastfeeding yeah. mums will have experienced it. Um, sometimes it's not entirely avoidable, but there are things you can do yeah, to, to prevent it, and, hopefully. And get rid of it sometimes. Definitely for yeah. getting rid of it. So, as Isabel said, mm. it's about milk being stuck in the breast. I think something that is a, is a good first step to take, or a good preventative measure is to be uh, very aware of your breasts yeah so we should all be examining our breasts regularly anyway but i think feeling for any lumps or looking is there any yes. red lump on your breast or does it feel like when the baby's fed it's not quite empty um mm -hmm. for whatever reason um, they're the first things before you might see anything and mm -hmm. then you might see a red lump or red lines Sometimes the whole breast goes red and inflamed. That's usually later on, mm. though. It's a later stage thing. Um, yeah, they're the so main yeah, things. Being aware of it. Making sure that you've got a good latch as well is, is really important. Yeah. And not spacing out feeds. That's another thing that can happen. Mums that space out feeds, or very commonly when you go back to work, mm. sometimes you get blocked ducts. And it's being on top of that and making sure that you're draining that breast. Removing with, the milk. Yeah, with a pump. Um, um, or a baby, whichever you've got <laughs> Absolutely. Um, access to. So, worst case happens, you do get mastitis, you wake up with all the symptoms, symptoms of which are usually a big red area mm, of the breast yeah. where it is inflamed. Um, if it's gotten quite late on, in, it can give you a fever, yeah. chills it's really quite unpleasant mm. um, so things that you can do about it the mantra is heat rest empty breast and so you need if you if you're with your baby keep get them to feed um, line up the chin with mm. the um, lump or the, the red chin bit. is where the strongest milk extraction that's the bit that's moving that's where they're doing the work and yeah. so put their chin <coughs> near the red bit wherever's sore and red so as that you gets might feel a lump sometimes yeah so line it up with that lump absolutely um, heat heat add heat um, either a hot flannel hot shower, hot shower. You can get these things you put in the microwave. Yes. Nursing pad thing. Yeah. Well, not even nursing, just general oh, okay. heat. Okay. Some have cherry, cherry stone things. Yeah. So whatever. Heat, um, and feed, feed, feed. There's you could find dangle feeding useful, which is putting the baby on the floor and sort of leaning over like that because you've got the gravity trying to mm. um, pull that milk out and then block that duct can use a pump it's really unfortunate as well because it can make you feel absolutely rotten but, but you need, you to, need to keep the only way you're going to feel better is by getting that milk out yeah. i say the only way you're going to feel better paracetamol and ibuprofen yeah. if, if you can take those in your normal everyday life you can take them whilst you're breastfeeding do take them they, they help a lot yeah 
But if you have gotten to the point where you've got a temperature and you're, you're shivering, chills. You may need to go to the GP and get some antibiotics. Mm. Um, you need to be doing something about it every feed. And I know you feel that it can hurt sometimes as well to feed on that side. But you really do need to get that breast emptied. Um, and um, sometimes if it's got to the stage where the whole breast is inflamed, you may need to do a lymphatic massage, which we have the link for, um, mm. and we'll post. Um, and there's a hand expression technique that you can go to get milk moving. Mm. The other thing to mention is sometimes, if particularly if you're pumping, you can sometimes get a string of milk out. Just keep pumping and pumping until that's gone. If the baby gets it, it's fine. That's the basically the block duct mm. that the blockage. The blockage, and you need to get rid of it. Fab. So heat rest and empty yes, breasts yeah keep feeding even because that's one thing that i think i come across most with mums is that they've gotten this red angry passion so they've stopped feeding off that breast yeah. but you've got to get the milk out you've got to keep, keep feeding keep feeding keep feeding or pumping if you're not near your baby you've got to pump mm. and then afterwards i would have a look at analyzing some of the factors that have potentially led to mastitis because if you do find yourself with it you're not going to want to experience it again no. so it's it's great work to try and prevent it happening yeah if you are getting recurrent mastitis there are there mm. are other things that you need to consider but just for one-off mastitis they're the things that mm. um, can help and then you can uh, share your war stories with your friends because <laughs> yeah. chances are somebody else will have had it yeah. yeah so if you are suffering then good luck and we hope that's helped you sort it out thank you